Now we turn to an ABC News investigation creating headlines today. The subject, the use of antibiotics in the chicken we eat. A new question has been raised about a possible relationship to an infection in women that is nearly impossible to treat. We should say the evidence is being hotly debated. Dr. Richard Besser, our medical editor, will join us. But first, here's ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila with his reporting tonight. It's America's favorite food. Eight and a half billion chickens raised for meat. Nearly all of them, even the healthy, fed antibiotics from hatch to frying pan. A diet that a growing number of leading medical researchers around the world say has created a dangerous strain of E. coli that is now highly resistant to antibiotic treatment. And here is what is new and alarming. They say that superbug in the bird is now infecting women. We're finding the same or related E. coli in human infections and in retail meat sources, specifically chicken. These top researchers say they now have strong evidence of a link between the disease and the chicken superbug. The grocery store meat carrying the same E. coli strain as the resistant strain causing painful and long-lasting bladder infections. Same DNA fingerprint. Food and Environment Reporting Network writer Marin McKenna interviewed the researchers part of a joint investigation with ABC News. When they looked at the infections and they looked at bacteria in the animals and they looked at bacteria on the meat, they all matched. And this is no ordinary infection. I couldn't function fully for first weeks, almost a month. The superbug hangs on longer, resisting antibiotics and comes back repeatedly as it did with Atlanta's Dory Griggs. They ran the, the tests again and confirm that yes I still had the infection and that let's try something else. Veteran doctors say they often have to use several types of antibiotics now trying to outsmart the bacteria. They are super clever, they are very smart. We call them bugs, we think of them as stupid but they are very smart. The chicken industry disputes the research and says they believe it's unlikely that this antibiotic resistant superbug comes from poultry at all. But the independent researchers say they are confident that the link is proven by the DNA. Diane. All right, thanks so much, Jim. And I want to bring in ABC's medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, who was acting head of the CDC and has specialized in superbugs. We heard what Jim said about some researchers, some scientists, what they think. What do you think? Well, you know, I think these scientists are right. But I think it's going to be impossible to prove. And, and here's why. It, it's different from when you get a stomach bug, a stomach flu. There, you eat something, and within a couple days, you're sick. And you can, you can actually test the food and see if it matches. Trace it. Yeah, exactly. Here, if you eat contaminated chicken, contaminated with a superbug, that superbug can set up shop in your gut. And it may not be until several months later that you get a bladder infection. At that point, there's no way to connect it to something you ate months before. But if you think these scientists are onto something, what do you do to prevent it? Well, you know, of course you want to keep your kitchen clean and practice good food safety. But, but the solution is going to be on the farm. And CDC for decades has been concerned about getting antibiotics off the farm as, as a form of feed. You don't want to feed antibiotics to, to people. And, I mean, to, to, to animals that we're going to eat. And if you're a woman who has a bladder infection and you're not getting better, you have to go back and get tested because it may be you have a superbug that requires a stronger antibiotic, longer treatment. This is a big problem. If it keeps recurring, consider this possibility. This could be the cause. All right. Thank you, Dr. Richard Besser and also Jim Avila once again.